it's Stephen here for Bland Designs and today I'm going to do another acrylic pouring experiment but this time I'm going to use resin. Now I've been watching some videos uh, mostly Anne Marie Ritterhoff's uh, channel where she's been having a lot of great luck with this so I'm going to mix the resin up according to the instructions on the can and I'm going to divide it up into these little cups and I'm going to add Pearl X pigment powders to it and we'll see what happens. Now this is a real experiment here. So I need, it says to 29.5 milliliters of resin you put in eight drops of hardener for about a quarter inch thick. Um, now I'm thinking maybe that's a little too thick. Uh, maybe I should only go with one an eighth of an inch. That might be better. So maybe I will. So that's 15 drops. But I'm going to mix up double that am amount. So I'm going to need 30 drops in 59 milliliters of the resin. And I've got my scale set here. So I'm going to measure this out. Now this stuff does have an odor. Okay. I got a little bit more than I need it. I'm going to wipe off the top. I actually got 61 milliliters. I don't know for this kind of pour whether that's going to make a big difference or not, but I'm going to leave it for now. Just wiping off the rim of the can. And you should wear gloves for this, and I am. I've got my blue gloves on. So I'm going to put the lid back on. And I've got my little bit of uh, the catalyst here. So I need 30 drops of this. This still doesn't look like a whole lot of resin. You want to know something? I think I'm going to have to add more resin. So, put my scale back on here. And I think I'm going to, I'm going to double this. So I have 61, I need 59. So doubling it would be 108, right? No, 118, 59, 59. There's 118 milliliters. And so I've got the scale set back at zero, but let me just set my cup on here take off the zero doesn't seem to want to go back to zero okay well I'll do it this way so I figured out that scale okay get the lid off and so I've got 61 I want 118 so that means that I need okay I'm not thinking today, maybe the fumes are going to my head already. So, I said I needed 118 milliliters of this. I've got 61 in there. I need to add another 57 milliliters. So, here we go. So just a little bit more. Okay, I've got 57 more milliliters in there. So I need to wipe off this can again. Now the uh, type of resin that Anne-Marie Ritterhoff was using was something called Master Cast, but I went to my local art store, which is Curry's, and they did not sell that brand. They sold a couple of brands. I think most of this stuff is being labeled as stuff for casting. So I'm not really sure if there's much of a difference or not. But I'm going to assume there isn't and try this. So I've got this in here. So I'm now going to need, let's see, if I'm going to do it an eighth of an inch, I need, and let's see, I need 15 for 29. So that's. 30, I need 60 drops of this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and another 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. There's 60 drops. Okay. And then it says that you've got to stir this for 60 seconds. So let me check my watch here. Okay. So we have to do this for one minute. So I won't make you watch this part of the stirring process here. I'll come back. Okay, so I mixed up in this cup my resin and I've now divided it fairly equally between these four little cups. And I'm going to use four different colors of Pearl X pigment powder. So I've got sort of a purple, a yellow, a blue, and a coppery, coppery color. Okay, so I'm just going to put, now I'm not sure how much of this to put in each one of these. And some of these haven't even been opened yet. So I'm just going to take this little palette knife and I'm just going to put that much on the tip and take a stick and stir it in and see what we get. Now I don't want any chunks so I hope this is dissolving well. And I think that's probably all I need in there. Just took a little tiny amount. Okay, so yeah, I think it's dissolving okay. So that's the yellow. Try a little blue. This stuff does have fumes. I'll tell you that right now. I should clean this off a little bit. So I'm going to take that. And I think what I'll do is I'll put all my powders in and I'll mix them all up. This is the copper. And then the purpley color. Now I've had these powders for quite some time. That's why they still have the initial seal on them. Because I don't know what I bought them for, but I did. And I don't think I've really ever used them. So we'll see how this all works out with these. So let's mix up the blue. That's a pretty blue. Very pretty blue. It's very iridescent too. Very shiny and shimmery. I think that's mixed up. My gloves are a little sticky. this mixed up. You could get high on this, believe me. Maybe I should be wearing one of those little face masks. Because it is very fumy. So, use in a well-ventilated area. I may be high by the time I get this done. And the purple. Ooh, I think this stuff is starting to uh, solidify. 
already. Well, that's not good. This one really has. Oh, I don't know what we're going to get out of this, but I'm going to add just a few more drops of this catalyst. Guess you have to work quickly. Though she didn't seem to work, Anne Marie didn't seem to work all that quick. Oh yeah, the purple has just gone to, look, just can't pour that. That's a gob. Okay. The rest of these going gobby? They're all going gobby. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if I add, yeah, they're, they've all started to solidify and harden. Okay, this stuff goes really fast. I don't know if I'm going to be able to save them. I'm going to see if I can pour just a little bit more. Nope, I've got slime. Yeah, look at that. Now, I wonder if that had anything to do... Ugh, wow, that didn't work. Look at that. Okay. They're all like that. And I got some on my table here too. Okay, this stuff I don't know if this is going to work. Um Yeah. I've all gone to slime. Look at that. That's just kind of neat. Well, that is interesting. I didn't think it would set up that quick, but apparently it did. But I'm wondering if it has anything to do with the pigment powders. This one, I added more of that stuff to it. I added more resin in here and I added more of the hardener. And uh, it's gone like jello. Yeah, okay, well, that part didn't work. Okay, I wonder what happens if I just put ordinary everyday latex paint in this. Or wait, Liquitex acrylic inks, I wonder. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, this time, I'm not going to put the hardener in until I've put in the color. Um, and... Uh, maybe I'll hold back. I was going to use the Liquitex, but maybe I'll hold back and I'll use the pigment powders again. So I've got my measuring cup on here and I'll put in Okay, well, I've got 30. That's close. And I'll just take this off. And I'm just going to try it with one to start with. And I'm going to do what I did last time. But I'm not going to put the hardener in yet. I'm just going to put in my pigment first. Then I'll put in the hardener. Clean off my palette knife and I need a stick. And good shot! Oh, I'm brilliant. Okay. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I have a new cup of resin. I've got my stuff in it, my pigment, and now I'm mixing it up. Now remember, I haven't put any hardener in this yet. So this is 29.5 milliliters of the first part. And then to this, I need to add eight drops of the hardener, but I'm not going to do that yet. 
because I'm going to get these cups ready for all of this. Okay. That one's there. All right. You sure don't make these cans easy to pour from. Okay. Got that one. This one. Got a little bit more than I need in that one, but we'll wing it. And the last one. Yeah, this is messy. I'm not going to deny that. Good thing I put this protective piece of paper over that. Okay, let's clean up this can. Try not to spill it. Sorry, I'm doing this off camera, but you know, do you need to see me making more of a mess? Probably not. We've already had two disasters. Take that dirty sheet off. Let's move this out of our way. And this we're just going to set down over here. Okay. So, so far this is still staying liquidy. And my theory is it should. So, let's... Get our other colors in. We're going to stick with the pigment powders. That was blue. This is yellow. Purple. Got a little purple in that one too. Okay. Oh, I'm a bit of a klutz. I'm seeing I've got some gooey gooey over here. It's amazing. This resin gets everywhere. Not good. Not good. This is my copper. Okay, need some stir sticks. And let's mix up the yellow. Making sure there's no lumps, dry powder. Seems to mix up pretty good. And you don't really need a whole lot. Okay, that's my purple and my copper. Okay, so I've got my colors all mixed up and they're not solidifying good. So no hardener yet. I have to put that in. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do these in strips. So I'm going to move to the other camera where I've got a canvas set up for this. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm over here on the other side. I've got my mixed up 
pigments in the resin right now, but I don't have any hardener in these. So I'm going to put some hardener in. And for the amount I've got here, it says eight drops. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I may have a little bit more than eight in there. Mix it up. Now it says to mix for 60 seconds. I'm not going to. Because I'm afraid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just doing it for a few seconds. See, I'm not casting in a mold. So I'm thinking with this small amount that I'm using, I may not have to mix for that long. Okay, so now I'm going to take them and I'm just going to stir and pour. And I'm just going to do it wherever. That's the blue. Let's try the yellow. Let's do the purple next. Now, I'm going to just tilt it a little bit. Now, what Anne Marie did was she hit it with a super duper heat gun and I have a super duper heat gun and she kind of blew it around so I don't know what this is going to do. It doesn't look like it's doing a heck of a lot in here. There's some things sort of happening around but I don't know. So let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay, not a heck of a lot. So, I think I'll just do the edges here just like I would if I was using ordinary acrylic paints. Stuff is thickening. I can feel it when I dip my finger into it. smelly people I'm not really doing a good job of the edges here it's kind of like mucking around in syrup 
nothing like what Anne-Marie did. I'm wondering if there are different kinds of resin, and I'm wondering if this resin, which they say is supposed to be for using in molds for casting, I wonder if this is just the wrong kind of resin. I may have to do a little research here, sorry if my head's in the way. Oh God, this stuff smells. I'm trying not to breathe it in. Okay. So. I wonder what happens if I torch it. She torched hers. I'm a little bit afraid of starting a fire. But let's grab the torch and see what happens here. Oh yeah, almost started on fire. She did that to get rid of air bubbles. Okay, so I have this sort of nondescript pastel -y background. I'm wondering if I... Can I get any more out of these cups? I'll just drizzle whatever I can get out of these cups on here. Well, right now I'm not really impressed with this, but uh, I'm not going to give up. Not yet. It's first time. Do some more research. Now I'm just mucking about. Maybe some of you people out there have tried resin before too and uh, can give me some suggestions because as I said, never done this before. However, that's why I called it an experiment. Okay, well, I've scraped out what I had left of this stuff, and there we go. I have no idea how long this stuff is going to take to dry. I know resin usually takes quite a while, so we'll leave it overnight and see what it's like in the morning. But, there we go. What do I think? Well, I'm not loving this at all. But, you know, maybe once it's dry, maybe I can add other layers of things to it or whatnot. I don't know. Like I said, maybe I don't have the right kind of resin. I've got resin on everything, though. Me, my table, whatnot. Okay, so, I'm just going to leave it. There it is. For what it's worth and um, we'll carry on with the experiment as time goes by okay so I hope you weren't too disappointed in what happened here I am but I guess this is how we learn and I think I'm getting high on the fumes too so anyways I'm going to quit here before I start to see really pretty colors all around me not necessarily on the canvas so thanks for watching talk to you later bye bye